Okay, in this video, we're gonna be doing uh, number six from the 2023 AP Calculus AB exam. It is an implicit differentiation problem. Let's take a look. Consider the curve given by the equation 6xy equals two plus y cubed. Show that dy dx is two y over y squared minus two x. The reason they give you this is that you're definitely gonna need that derivative in the other parts of the problem. So if you couldn't do part A, you wouldn't be able to do anything. We just have to get that answer. So we're gonna start off do d dx of both sides of that equation. So it looks like this. Now let's dig in. So on the left-hand side, we need a product rule. So it'll be first, which is 6x, derivative of the second is dy dx, plus second, which is y, derivative of the first is just six, equals, uh, the derivative of two is zero, and then of y cubed is gonna be three y squared dy dx. Don't forget the chain rule. Although if you forget it here, you're not gonna get the thing they told you to get, so you'll probably realize that. All right, we gotta rearrange this thing and solve for dy dx. So what I'm gonna do is just say that six y, I'm gonna bring everything with a dy dx over to the right-hand side. The reason I'm doing that is that I looked at the answer and I see that it has positive two y in the numerator, so I thought I would keep the positive six y. I'm gonna divide both sides by that uh, coefficient of dy dx. So dy dx is gonna be six y over 3y squared minus 6x. I look at the thing they gave us, that is not it, so I'm gonna divide everything I see by three to give me dy dx is 2y over y squared minus 2x as required. All right, let's dig into the rest of this problem. So find the coordinates of a point on the curve at which the line tangent to the curve is horizontal, which would mean the derivative is zero, or explain why no such points exist. Let's import our answer for the derivative. So horizontal, we need dy dx to equal zero. If dy dx equals zero, that would mean that two y is equal to zero or just y is equal to zero. Now what we need to do is figure out, is there a point on the curve where y is equal to zero? So we'll go up to our equation, six x y equals two plus y cubed. And we'll say, if y is equal to zero, then subbing into that, we get six times x times zero equals two plus zero cubed. Uh, sorry, that should say cubed. I'm gonna leave it, it should say cubed, it's zero anyway. Um, so this gives us, the implication would be that zero is equal to two. So if zero equals two, we got a point, but zero does not equal two. And so I'm gonna say there are no points on the curve where the tangent is horizontal, with the caveat that I should have written zero cubed instead of zero squared. It's clearly not impacting anything, but I bet people will comment about it. All right, let's take a look at part C. Find the coordinates of a point on the curve at which the line tangent to the curve is vertical or explain why no such points exist. This is kind of the same problem, except vertical would mean that our derivative, which we have here, is going to be um, undefined, right? So vertical implies the derivative is undefined, which would mean our denominator is equal to zero. So we would have to have y squared minus two x equals zero. So what does that mean? Well, I could solve that for y or I could solve for x. Solving for y is kind of messy, so let's solve it for x. So y squared is equal to two x, which gives us that x is equal to y squared over two. Now we're gonna do kind of the same thing. We're gonna go back up to our equation. We're gonna replace x with y squared over two and try to solve for y. So we'll get six y squared over two times y equals two plus y cubed. Uh, on the left-hand side, that becomes six over two is three, and then y squared times y is y cubed. So three y cubed is two plus y cubed. Uh, subtract y cubed from both sides, get two y cubed equals two, divide by two, y cubed equals one. There's only one value that makes that true, and that would be y equals one. All right, so we know y is one. Now we have to figure out what x is, but we know the relationship, right? X is y squared over two. So if y is equal to one, then x is gonna be equal to y squared, or one squared divided by two, so one half. So we do have an ordered pair. Our ordered pair is going to be one half comma one, so at that point, the tangent line is vertical. And there is one more part we gotta do here. So let's take a look. We have a particle moving along the curve. At the instant when the particle is at the point one half negative two, its horizontal position is increasing at a rate of dx dt is two thirds unit per second. What is the value of dy dt, the rate of change of the particle's vertical position at that instant? So now we're talking about d dt of both sides of this equation. So let's start off with that. So in the first part we did d dx, now we're doing d dt because t is the independent variable. 
basically we're going to redo the problem. So uh, we'll use the product rule first, 6x. Derivative of the second is dy dt. And then second is y. Derivative of the first is 6 dx dt because everything's a function of t now. And then on the right-hand side, the derivative of 2 is still 0. We'll get 3y squared dy dt. So don't forget your dx dt's, your dy dt's. Now, we're told a lot of things in the problem. The point is 1 half negative 2, which means x is 1 half, y is negative 2, and we know dx dt is 2 thirds. So those are the values we're going to sub in. The only unknown will be dy dt, and then we'll solve for it. So let's just sub in. We get 6, 1 half dy dt. We get negative 2, 6, and 2 thirds equals 3, sub in negative 2, square it, dy dt. All right, so then we can clean this up. You know, you're supposed to be able to leave these things, and I guess technically you could, um, but I'm definitely cleaning this up. So 6 and 1 half gives me 3 dy dt. Negative 12 times 2 thirds is negative 8. Um, and then this will be 12 dy dt. Uh, I'm going to bring the 12 dy dt to the left, the 8 to the right. So I'll get negative 9 dy dt is equal to positive 8. So I think dy dt is negative 8 ninths. All right, that's the entire problem. That's the entire AP exam for that year. I hope this was helpful and good luck.